Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our seventh lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called commercial arithmetics 2. So we are looking at our 16th example which reads that for the last five years the value of a car has been depreciating at a constant rate of 12% per annum. The present value of the car is 316,640 shillings. Calculate the value of the car at the beginning of the five year period. So the first thing we are going to do is to identify the key terms and the first key term is the word depreciating. We said to depreciate means to uh, lose value. So remember something like a car can lose its value uh, through wear and tear. So we are told that for the last five years, so that means our period N will be five years. Uh, the value of the car has been depreciating at a constant rate of 12% per annum. So this is our rate of uh, depreciation. Then the present value of the car is 316,640 shillings. So this is the remaining value of the car after it has depreciated uh, consistently for a period of five years at a rate of 12% uh, per annum. So we are required to calculate the value of the car at the beginning of the five year period. So in short, they want us to get the uh, principal or the initial uh, cost of that particular car at the beginning of the five year period. So since uh, the car is depreciating or losing its value, we are going to use the formula for depreciation. Remember, we had said that depreciation is given by uh, you take the principal uh, into uh, one, then minus the rate of depreciation divided by 100, then of course to the power of n. So our remaining value of the car is um, 316,000 shillings, uh, 640, which should be equal to the principal, that is what you are looking for, the p, then into uh, 1 minus the rate of depreciation was 12% per annum. So we'll have 12 uh, divided by 100, then to the power of our period, of course, is five years. So the five years is representing our, our principal. So our aim is to look for the value of P. So I'm going to have uh, 316, uh, 640 shillings being equal to P. Then, of course, I can simplify uh, whatever is in the bracket. So this can be written as 1 minus 12 divided by 100. Of course, this will give me 0 0.12 then of course the whole of it is to the uh, power of 5. So this can be written as 316, uh, 640 uh, being equal to a uh, P, then of course into 1 minus uh, 0 0.12, of course this will give me 0 0.88. Then of course the whole of it is to the uh, power of 5. Now if I want to solve for the value of uh, P, uh, I can write this one as uh, 316, uh, 640 being equal to P, then of course uh, multiplied by 0 0.88, then this is to the uh, power of 5. So if I want to remain with the value of uh, P alone, I can simply uh, divide through uh, by 0 0.88 to the power of 5, also divide through by 0 0.88 to the power of 5. So of course these two will uh, cancel out. So that means my value of uh, P uh, should be equal to uh, 316, uh, 640, then of course divided by uh, 0 0.88 to the power of 5. So to get the value of P, you'll fit this on the calculator, 316, uh, 640, then divided by open bracket, we can have 0 0.88. Uh, then of course the power simple is written this way, a uh, power five. So if you feed this on the calculator, you're going to get uh, your value of P being equal to uh, 600,000 uh, and one shilling. Then of course point uh, six one. So this can be approximated as uh, 600, a thousand and one shillings then of course and 60 cents so this was at the principal or the initial value of the car 
before it depreciated uh, at a constant rate for a period of five years. So you can see the initial value of the car was 600,000 and one shilling and 60 cents, which is greater than the present value of the car, which is uh, 316,640. So clearly you can see that the car was losing its value or it has been depreciating uh, consistently for a period of five years at a rate of 12% uh, per annum. Next, we look at our example 17, which reads that the value of a new tractor is uh, 800,000 shillings. Then uh, for the time the tractor has been in use, its value has been depreciating at a, at a uniform rate of 7% per annum. If the present value of the tractor is 556,550 shillings, calculate the number of years it has been in use. So in short, they want us to get uh, the period N. Now we are told that the value of a new tractor is 800,000 shillings. So clearly this is the principal or the initial value of the tractor. Then for the time the tractor has been in use, its value has been depreciating at a uniform rate of 7% per annum. So clearly this is the rate of depreciation. Then if the present value of the tractor is 556,550 shillings. So of course this is the uh, the remaining value of the tractor, which I'm denoting as D, which is simply the depreciation. Then calculate the number of years it has been in use. So clearly we are going to use the formula for depreciation. So we know that depreciation is equals to uh, you take the principal then into one minus the rate of depreciation of 100 then of course to the power of uh, n so i'm gonna substitute the values that i'm having the remaining value of the car is um five hundred and fifty six thousand five hundred and fifty which is equals to the principal the initial principal of the car was uh eight a hundred thousand shillings that is the initial principal of uh, the new tractor then into one minus the rate of depreciation is seven percent per annum of course it is a percentage then to the power of n so we are looking for the period uh, n so this can be written as uh, 556,550 which is equals to 800,000 uh, shillings then of course into one minus 7 over 100, this will give us 0 0.07. Then, of course, the whole of it is to the uh, power of n. So this is uh, 556,550 uh, shillings being equal to 800,000. Uh, then, of course, into 1 minus 0 0.07. Of course, this will give me 0 0.93. Then this is to the uh, power of n. So if I want to remain with the value of N alone, I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by 800,000. I also divide this other side by uh, 800,000 so that these two can actually cancel out. So that means um, I'm going to remain with the following. So this is what I'm going to remain with. So I'm having 556. 1,550 uh, divided by 800,000 shillings being equal to 0 0.93 to the power of uh, n. Now, if uh, I feed this one on the calculator, this part on the calculator, if you take 556, 550 divided by 800,000, you're going to get 0 0.6953. Uh, 6 then 875 uh, of course which will be equal to uh, 0 0.93 to the power of n the easiest way of solving for n is to introduce logarithm to best 10 on both sides of the equation so that i'll have the logarithm of 0 0.6956 uh, 875 uh, being equal to uh, the log of uh, 0 0.93 to the power of n. Now, applying the loss of logarithm, we know that if you have the log of uh, a b to the power of n, it's the same as saying n the logarithm of uh, a b. So that means um, we can pre-multiply uh, this power here. 
uh, we can bring it here so applying this law of uh, logarithm i'm going to have the following so i'll have the log of 0 0.69 uh, 56 875 uh, being equal to n the logarithm of 0 0.93 so to get the value of n i'm going to divide both sides of the equation by the logarithm of 0 0.93 i also divide uh, this other side by the logarithm of 0 0.93 so that means uh, these two are going to cancel out so it simply implies that my value of n should be equal to the logarithm of 0 0.69 uh, 5 6 then 875 uh, 875 divided by the logarithm of 0 0.93 so if you feed this on the calculator you'll get the value of n uh, being equal to uh, so if you feed this one you just type the logarithm of 0 0.69 uh, 56 875 divided by the logarithm of 0 0.69 your calculator is going to give you 5.00 which is simply a uh, five years. So it means that uh, the tractor has been depreciating in its value from 800,000 shillings to 556,550 shillings in a period of five years. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.